Another way of calculating delta H, your enthalpy of a reaction, is through bond energy. It's the sum of the bonds broken minus the sum of the bonds formed. Remember that the bonds broken are your reactants and the bonds formed are your products. So in this case, it's reactants minus products. Be careful, when we calculated delta H of formation, it was products minus reactants. This is the only time it's reactants minus products. You would be given this chart or the pieces from this chart that you need in a problem. Notice that all of these values are positive because it always takes energy to break a bond. Bonds don't just break on their own. The greater the bond enthalpy is, the stronger the bond. So if you look, the doubles and triple bonds have the higher delta H's because they're stronger than the single bonds. And energy is always released when a bond forms between gaseous atoms. So your delta H should be negative. So if you're calculating the bond energy of this, you're going to need to refer to your chart that's in your note packet or in your book. Before you can do that, though, you need to draw the Lewis structures for each of these. Because we have to see, do we have single bonds or double bonds and how many bonds we have. And you're going to want to visualize that. So again, our formula was reactants minus products, so we look at HH, and that is 436. I have one HH bond, so it's just 436 plus my FF bond, which was 155. The sum of that minus HF, but notice I have two of them because of the coefficient. So that's 2 times 5, 567. Solving that out, I get negative 543 kilojoules per mole. Since the bond enthalpies were in kilojoules per mole, your answer is always in kilojoules per mole. And so again, this is negative delta H, which means it's exothermic. It's going to release energy. So go ahead and pause the video and draw your structures for each of these. Restart once you have your structures. So you should have drawn your Lewis structures. You want to make sure that you draw all the bonds, so true Lewis structures. Had I not drawn that, I may have thought I only had one CH bond instead of four. I've left the lone pairs off for simplicity's sake. So double check that those are your structures that you drew. And now pause the video and calculate your delta H. Any day now, I'll start writing. Alright, so you have four CH bonds, and each CH bond is 413.
plus my two CL bonds. which are 242 plus my two FF bonds which were 155 and it may help if you do as I'm doing there and write what bond you've accounted for on top so then you can quickly make sure that you've accounted for all the bonds that you've drew especially when you have a problem like this that has lots of compounds so be careful on the next one. I have two CF bonds and two C CL bonds. And then two HF bonds. And two HCL bonds. I'm going to sum those up individually since I have a lot going on. So the delta H is equal to 2446 four, minus 3622. Two. So solving that out, we get negative 1176 kilojoules per mole. Pause the video and try this one on your own. Restart when you think you have it. So in this problem you have your HH which is 432. We don't know FF and we know that each HF is 565 and I know that I have two of them I don't know my FF bond energy but I do know that my delta H for the reaction is negative 543 kilojoules per mole so solving it algebraically I multiply 2 times 565 and add it to negative 543 and then subtracted 432 giving me A.